Planet Dolan. From why golf balls have dimples to if a football is really made of pig skin, we answer 10 of your most burning questions about sports. Hello there, my name is Shima and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan and I'm here to blow your m- When was the yo-yo invented? It was a long time ago. Originally, rats were tied to strings of cooked spaghetti and chefs would dunk them into boiling water and pasta sauce to serve them at restaurants. Until one day, plastic yo-yos were manufactured by rats to distract us from eating them. Toys like yo-yos have been around for hundreds of years, but the first modern yo-yo was made in 1928. Just one year later, the factory that made it was churning out 300,000 yo-yos a day. Why are there dimples on a golf ball? Those are actually arm holes, so that after you hit the ball and it lands out of sight, it will scuttle away deep into the undergrowth so that you'll never find it, and it will laugh as you search, because it's a jerk. They may not seem like much, but they actually help the ball travel almost twice as far as a ball without them. The dimples help make a thin layer of slow-moving air around the ball in flight, reducing drag. Why is the sport of football also called soccer? There is an island in our world that houses a giant alternate reality bubble where nothing makes sense. And we call this place England. Chips are called crisps, a fanny pack is a bum bag, toilet paper is actually a bog roll, and every sport is football. We don't know why. The word soccer comes from England. It evolved from the slang term ASOC, which was the shortened version of association football. When the sport was introduced to America, American football was already being played, so they kept the name soccer for the new sport. What is the sweet spot of a baseball bat? This is when you come home and you realize the bat went out and bought you flowers, just to make you feel special. Or like that time it did all the dishes, even though you didn't ask it to. Or when it beats up that intruder and licks off the blood to hide evidence. Wait. There is a spot on a bat where vibrations or shaking from hitting a ball cancel each other out. That spot is the sweet spot, and since there is less energy being lost to the vibrations, the ball flies farther. Who invented baseball? Baseball has been around for hundreds of years, but for a long time, people would play using breadsticks for bats, and the ball was a pile of moldy cheese. We started using wooden bats and cowhide balls after the seagulls kept eating our breadsticks. And there were a lot of seagulls. People have been hitting balls with sticks and running between bases for hundreds of years. The basic rules of baseball today were made official in 1845 by several amateur teams playing in New York. Who invented the frisbee? It was invented by Santa Claus! His elves don't work for nothing, you know. By selling his own invention and delivering it to your kid at a steep commission, he makes capital on every unit that goes out while maintaining a positive public relations image because he's, air quote, giving the toys away. Sneaky Santa. The Frisbee was invented by a UFO enthusiast, but he didn't call it a Frisbee. A toy company bought the idea for a toy flying saucer and later named it after a pie restaurant. William Frisbee's pies were popular with kids who liked to throw the tins around after they ate the pie. Hence the Frisbee. When was American football invented? Back in the old days, animals were kicked into goalposts for sport because we didn't know they had feelings. But eventually they got so fed up that they would hire human mercenaries to represent and defend them. This is why old teams are named after animals. We're just doing what they tell us to do. To most of the world, football means soccer, and in Australia, football refers to a game that looks a lot like rugby. American football comes from both of these sports. It was invented by college students in the 19th century looking to make up their own version of rugby and soccer. What is a basketball made of? You take an orange balloon, you blow into it until it's basketball sized, you tie it up, you stick it in a deep fryer filled with greasy oil, you cook for about 15 minutes turning once, you wrap it in bacon to hold it all together and serve in a match. It also makes for a great snack. It all depends on who the ball is made for. The NBA and WNBA both use composite leather, a man-made material. Some high schools and colleges use real leather sometimes, but novice balls are often made out of rubber. 
What is a football made out of? Are they really made of pigskins? No, the reason it's called football is because when a team loses, their worst player will have the skin flayed from his foot and wrapped over a deflated car tire to be used as a ball. Hence, football. Though sometimes called a pigskin, the NFL's official footballs are made out of cowhide leather. Most footballs are made of either leather or rubber, or sometimes a mix of the two. What do the Olympic rings mean? This is paying homage to the first Olympic Games in which the only sport was a hula hoop competition, but only five people turned up. And the game was so intense that all the hoops got tangled with each other, so everyone was disqualified. And the car ride back was really awkward. The colors of the five rings represent the five participating continents. Australia, Africa, America, Asia, and Europe. The colors are always arranged with blue, black, and red across the top, and yellow and green along the bottom. Some suggest that each color stands for a particular continent, but this hasn't been confirmed. So how about it? Do you have any burning questions about life in the universe that you would like us to answer in a future video? Go ahead and ask it in the comment box below. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good cool one!